gang, what's going on? Top of the morning. Um, it's into the streets. Um, real quick, I was watching a um a YouTuber that just came out with some information about Nori that had told Taxstone Taxstone that 50 Cent was a snitch. And listening to that short video it kind of disgusted me and the reason why I'm disgusted is because this whole um, snitching culture this whole like when I say culture I mean not snitching and people snitching that's the whole thing and People got to put this whole snitching thing into perspective, you know. If you in the gang, the streets, gang, gang, and you commit a crime with your homies, and one of y'all get caught, and the one that get caught tell on the other ones that's involved, that's snitching. That's a rat. That's an informant. Right? But people are putting snitching onto people who don't really deserve. They don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and what I mean, like, about that is... Takashi 69 supposedly told in his case and I'm not everybody know he told him in the Treyway case but I'm talking about he supposedly told and this is public record so anybody can go look it up I have not I'm gonna keep it 100 but allegedly in that um case he had with the minor he he told on the other dude involved so, if the nine train members knew, if the nine train members knew that he told and still was screaming Treyway with him, still was holding him down, whose fault is it that they got snitched on? And what I mean by that is, I see a lot of people nowadays able to move and be a part of a lifestyle that they not built for. And what I mean is when I was growing up, people, if you wasn't cut from that cloth, if, if, if they couldn't look at you, like there was, if you, anybody watched The Wire, it was a scene when Marlo sent Monk to give the kids school money. And all the kids was hyped, taking the money. Even Naaman, who was like the most um, fortunate or the most, you know, he had the most material things out of his whole crew. Even he took the money. And Michael, whose mother was then selling the food out their fridge to go get high, was, was the only one that said, nah, I'm good. And that, when Marlo saw that, he told um, Chris, he said, big paws on the pup. And I tell that story to say that he, he saw that natural wolf in Mike. 